rain does eventuate, then this would become the worst flooding event in Townsville's history. It's that strong, just walking in it knee deep, you're nearly falling over. Flooding as high as garden fences. Townsville's main streets now raging torrents. Authorities have taken the unprecedented step of ordering water releases from its major dam. The drastic move is likely to cause even more houses to flood. Residents are being urged to evacuate. I'm here with Renee Vesetic, who's our campus pastor in Townsville. Renee, about how many church families do you think have been affected by the floods in Townsville? Yeah, we know of uh, at least 140 families who live in the most affected areas in Townsville. So 140 families, that yeah. represents somewhere between five and 800 people in our church who have been directly affected. Yeah, absolutely. And so what are we doing locally to try to help those people? Yeah, so we will contact every single one and we've started that process just to check in on them, make sure they're okay, uh, firstly, and just to check in with what damage has been done to their property and uh, what we can help with. We've got about 300 people who are volunteering to help clean homes yeah. and that's amazing. Yeah, yeah, so everyone's just super keen for the rain to stop and to hit the ground. And then in terms of providing food for people who've been left destitute? Yeah. Uh, one of the great blessings in our Townsville campus is our Bean restaurant and so um, every night this week it'll be open from 4.30 to 6.30 uh, to provide a free dinner for people in the community who are still without power and um, homes. And we're expecting to feed how many people each night? Upward of around 200 every night. From clothes to food. <laughs> armies of volunteers made up mostly of those who've escaped unscathed. What is the plan here? How has this all come together? Yeah, so just volunteers uh, have either donated food or come in to help and uh, yeah, 200 meals last night and another 200 tonight that will go out to people who need it. We're here with Don and Pearl Badham who are part of our Townsville congregation. Uh, their house was flooded. What night was it flooded? Saturday, Saturday afternoon. Is that when they released water out of the dam? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Well, we were told that we needed to evacuate straight yeah. away. The, the floods were came in. to the door. Yeah. And so we knew that it was serious. And so we raced to get everything as much as we possibly could off the lower levels. And when you came back here, um, what did you find? Well, we, we, thought, we thought it wouldn't be too bad. We thought perhaps the, the water may have got inside. Well, should we go and have a look inside? Let's do it. Okay. All right, let's go. Pearl, did you cry when you came and saw? No. I said, it's no use crying over spilt milk. <laughs> Although this is a bit worse than milk. <laughs> yeah. 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 No, in God we trust. He's That's got right. all yeah. in his hands. Yeah. Mm. Well, we love you and um, Obviously, we want to do whatever we can to help you guys. Yeah, we, And it's not going to be just a few weeks. This is going to take quite a while to clean It is, up. yeah, that's right. Yeah. But we, we really appreciate uh, your concern of uh, doing it. Can whatever you can to help us, we appreciate that. We've been involved in the collection and distribution of goods to help families who have been left with nothing. Yeah, so from Sunday afternoon, we uh, opened a collection point for um, goods that people need and um, overwhelming response. And from there, uh, it will, has been open um, from 9.30 to 4.30 for people affected to come in and grab what they need. And uh, that's been just volunteers from our church as well as different groups in the uh, community. Obviously, there's a lot going on now in the immediate aftermath of these floods. But um, many of the people in our church, this is going to last for weeks and weeks. In fact, it might be months before they get back into their homes. Yeah, so we're doing our best to provide whatever people need immediately, whether that's um, housing, uh, food, finance, whatever it is. And But yeah, you're right, it will be an ongoing process from here where we'll continue to work with our amazing volunteers in our Calvary world, as well as different groups in the community. All right, so I'm here with Mick Waters, who's part of our church in town. So we've got a beautiful property here, Mick. How much property have you got? Uh, 17 acres. Okay. So where we're standing now, how deep did it get? This is your backyard. How mm. deep did it get where we're standing? We'd be up waist deep. So water up to here? Mm. And all heading towards the house? 
Yeah, because when it, although the creek's running that way, you'd think the water would go that way, but it doesn't, because it's looking for a low spot to fill. So how high was the water in here? Well, this is the kitchen. Yeah, it came up to the bottom shelf there. Right, okay. So it covered all the power points. But the water was running straight out those windows. Wow. So pretty much all your furniture's just ruined. Yeah, the whole lot. Yeah. yeah. So we just finished doing a big refit on this house. We waited years till we got the money to do it. Now you've got your own business as well. Is your business premises okay or was that flooded too? It was flooded. Um, we've just left the yard now going through it. There's probably $100,000 worth of stuff that's gone under there. Wow. So your business and home, both flooded. And the boat down the marina got two foot of water in it too. The bilge pump didn't work. How long do you reckon it's going to take before you're back to normal and getting on with life? Probably six months. Wow. Mm. Wow. So um, the other thing that's happened is people from our other campuses um, have generously given um, financially and then that money is then going to be distributed uh, through our local campus here in Townsville to people in our church yeah. who just are in need. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, we're so grateful um, to be one church in many locations and Townsville's had a very big week, but it's been so wonderful to know that we've had people in so many different locations praying for us, but not only that, practically helping us uh, be a blessing in our church and our community at this time.